Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get the bell notification on for the channel, and make sure to hit the like button as well. The like button helps the channel a lot. Welcome back to the series. This uh, the series of the building of the city of Riviera de Montaigne, a Quebec themed city set in the Saguenay region of Quebec. Um, and if this is your first time on the channel, uh, what I do is I build Canadian themed cities. So we're starting on the east coast of Canada. We're moving west. This is our second uh, series that we're doing in this. I guess grander series um, and this is episode five so happy Friday everyone um, I hope you had a great week so far and are looking forward to the weekend um, if you've written any comments section or any comments in the section in the comment section down below um, I haven't gotten to them yet because uh, I'm recording these all uh, prior to this um, videos release so I haven't uh, seen any of the comments on the video yet on, on sorry on the series yet but know that in the next episode uh, any comments they've given throughout the week will be uh, suggested or put into the city or talk discussed in the next episode so what are we doing in today's episode is we are going to do a couple things we're gonna try to get more residential to meet that goal of hitting the boomtown milestone uh, we're gonna add in some education some industry and maybe even a oh, city park so let's hop into it. So I was just looking at uh, the high schools before because we don't have any high school education. And I was trying to figure out where to put it. And I kind of concluded that, that we probably need to buy this tile. This is where the city is kind of growing. This is more of just a neighborhood. So I think we're going to need to buy this tile before we can get a high school at least. But that doesn't stop us from getting more elementary schools. So if we look at where we already have elementary schools. We have ele elementary schools. We have one over here. But we don't have one in Hillside. So, um, yeah, very French, right? Very Quebec themed uh, name right there. <laughs> um, so let's get a elementary school for this community, and maybe let's put it right here. Oh, look at that! It fits perfectly. Now, should we get it on this side? No. Let's do it right here. Let's turn anarchy off, so we just know. We're replacing it. Perfect. And then let's get a bit of a playground behind it. So we can get... Typically what I like to do, and I've seen other uh, cities kind of YouTubers do this as well, is you put a playground behind um, an elementary school. But I think since we're doing a Snowfall DLC map, we should look at getting a snowman park. Let's put it uh, right here. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to D-Zone some of this right here and then we're gonna get a pathway um, let's just use a pretty basic uh, path and we are going to turn on guidelines at least actually no let's not turn on guidelines uh, let's put it right here and we're going to make it a free-formed road pathway I guess and we're just going to curve it up like this come on come on okay that's fine oh didn't want to do it let's make it a straight road there we go so now we have this little bit of a pathway around let's just use move it to oh come on I didn't know I had it before let's just move it right beside the snowman park and then I'm just gonna drag this over Okay, well, I guess we can leave it there. Awesome. Okay, so this has kind of created a nice little spot for the kids. Um, and I guess now we can actually look at zoning. So, yeah, I guess we're probably good with that then. All right, so we have a second elementary school in here. And that's going to help boost the residential demand of the city. Um, and now we need to look at getting some more industry. So... We have our very basic dirty industry area over here and I think we're just gonna have to continue that for a little bit so let's just zone in all of this and maybe see if that meets our our needs then let's maybe get one right here one right here nice I'm gonna wait for this next one to zone in Okay, and let's get a smaller one right there. Uh, 
we, yeah, we can make it a bit bigger. And if that zones in, then we'll, we'll just throw in a, short, a smaller one right there. But I think what we can do is probably look at upgrading this road right here. And yeah, we don't have all these road upgrades, which we don't get till 4,600, eh? Wow, okay. But we do have these ones, uh, which could be good. So let's look at upgrading this road right here. So we'll flip that around. We still have dedicated turning lanes. And then we'll do the same thing right here. Yeah, there we go. Sorry for confusing you all, all you cars. Um, but now this has given us dedicated turning lanes as well over on this side. So that's going to help out the traffic over here. Let's make sure that we actually have proper... Oops. Yep. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, though. I wanted to look at this. Yeah, we need to yield out of here. Same thing here. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Um, another thing I wanted to do wanted to do is check the speed limits on these roads over here. I mean, 50. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense that it would be 50, but... Uh, okay, we'll leave it there. And we need to give dedicated turning lanes right here. Perfect. Okay, so the city is a move-in. we got tons of people all constantly flowing into the city, which is great to see. So we are getting some of our uh, demand back, which is nice. Oh, whoa. Pause the game really quickly whenever you see that. <laughs> Um, let's get uh, some water over here. Okay, so we are running out of water in our budget. So let's look at boosting that a bit. How's that doing? Uh, maybe a bit more. That's 130-ish. Look, pretty good. And then let's look at power. Okay, let's boost that up to 130-ish as well. So we're going to hold Pat on that for now. Um, and yeah, we do have lots of residential, uh, industrial demand. We also are getting really close to getting to Boomtown. So I'm going to try to boost our um, uh, the desirability of the city by adding in a city park. So what we need to do first is zone in a park. All right. So I'm looking at, at this, and there's a lot of red over here. We do have one single park over here and over here, so that's good. But I was thinking if we get a park along the shoreline here, it would be really nice. So let's do this. Let's just zone in right along the water here. And then we'll stop right here. Okay, so this is a little park called Sunset Hill. Um, why don't we make it Sunset Shore. Now, I know I'm making all these town names in English, except for the main town, which is Riviera de Montaigne, which is River uh, of Mountains, I guess. Um, now, I do speak French uh, a little bit, um, but uh, I don't believe that many of my viewers would. So, But if, if you do, please let me know down in the comment section below, and we can add in a few more French things. French name things, or if you have a name suggestion uh, and it's French, even better uh, for any of the districts or towns we come up with. Um, but uh, I think I just need to work on including more French into m my vocabulary for the series, and then we'll be able to uh, do that a bit more often. So what I did is I just placed down the city gate, uh, city park gate, and then it kind of unlocked all the park assets for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use move it, and I'm going to move it over right to the middle of this intersection beside this building, which is Vapor Vibes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and we're going to get the uh, we're going to get these side gates, and let's try to find some places to put these side gates. And I'm going to put them right at all these intersections here. So use move it. Okay, and then let's get another intersection uh, entrance. I'm not gonna put one over here because it's a bit too tight. Um, and then let's get another one. Um, I mean, I could probably put one over here and then over here. But why don't we just do two? Hmm.
Tough call. So let's let's just uh, put two in right here. Okay, so back to move it, and we'll throw it right there, and then right here as well. All right, so now we're looking at getting our park path in. So I think I'm just gonna do some nice freeformed roads. Yeah, that works. And then let's, space already occupied. There we go. And then this is gonna be the tricky part is Let's just turn guidelines off. That'll probably uh, do a bit better for us. So we're gonna try to get it um, right alongside here. So it's gonna add in some shoreline for us, which is totally fine. All right, and then let's turn guidelines back on. go all right oh no we lost vapor plaza <laughs> I'm just gonna pause the game and we're gonna rezone um, this area a bit I wonder if I move this over ever so slightly and touch the road how's the zoning look now nice get another larger building in right there okay and then we're gonna get a, a dirt path over here we're just gonna connect up uh, this area okay so the idea behind the dirt path is it's not exactly part of the city park um, but why don't we just, uh, you know what, never mind. Let's, let's do it uh, the typical way. So let's look at our district right here and it does go out this way, perfect. Um, and let's add in that last side gate. We're gonna have to place right there for now, but with move it, we'll be able to drag it over, turn it around, put it to this height. Oh, I think I, Pause the game for a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my game slowed down for a minute there. Um, okay, so let's get it to this height. Perfect. And now let's look at getting that pathway in. Okay, that works for me. And then we'll go straight up like this. Perfect. Okay, I'm really glad that it didn't uh, delete that building. Um, all right, so now that we have this in place, um, we're going to have lots of people trying to use this to walk around the city, which is fantastic. Look at that. People are already using it. Um, so let's try and just adjust these, this park path a bit. Nice. Perfect. And then this one's going to swing down a bit. I'm going to try to make it so there's not connections to the roads. So people have to use the park paths themselves. Okay, we're going to bring this one up a bit. Okay, and there might be a connection here. No, there isn't. Okay, nice. But we're going to bring this up to this height. And this one, whoa. Uh, and then this one is going to go to this height. Perfect. It's a bit of a connection right there, so I'm just going to try to drag it off of that perfect and then right here as well okay and I don't think that's a connection awesome okay this turned out really nicely um, and then now we can look at getting some things into the park so in order to level up the park uh, we just need to get to 500 visitors and get the entertainment level up a bit. So let's look at at doing that maybe um, Let's get a park restroom perhaps 
I don't know if that's a good spot for it. I don't want to waste the space on these assets over here. So why don't we... I mean, we could put it right there, technically, but I wonder if it's going to get rid of the zoning. Could we get a cafe? Yeah, why don't we do a cafe? Right here, right along the water. Nice. Okay, so let's just grab that and put it to that height. And then we're going to grab uh, this and put it to that height as well. Perfect. Okay. Whoops. That worked with me. And let's see if just that got us up to the next, uh, the next level. Nope. Almost though. So we just need one more thing and let's try and I want to put the plaza in. the plazas are just a bit too big and not exactly what I want for this area. So let's try to get, um, that restroom in. And I guess we can try to fit it in right here just like we had before, but let's try it and just make sure that we can just turn anarchy on. Can't we? Perfect. Okay. So I think that, uh, should work. Hopefully this building doesn't get destroyed. Um, and that will definitely get us up to the next level that we need to do. Wow. It doesn't. Okay. So let's just temporarily throw another one in, um, over here. So let's just do that. And then now we should level up to level two and we did nice. Um, let's add in some of these piers, which is something that I wanted to do park pier. So let's put this right here. And then use move it. And what we're going to do is we're just going to line it up with this intersection right here. And then we're going to just lower it into the ground a bit. Perfect. Okay. So we got one right there and I think we're going to go with this one for over here. Okay, so place it down, grab, move it, and just right there should work. Yep, and then lower it into the ground. Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I miss? Our garbage is full. Okay, well... Um, that is something that is good that I caught that earlier than um, perhaps I I would have if I just kept building the park. So let's um, fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this road. I'm going to drag it out. Um, and then I just want to keep the grid is what I am looking for. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're going to get a road right there, connect it up. Perfect. And let's get our next garbage spot right here. Perfect. Okay. So what this is going to, what we need to do now is just, uh, upgrade this road, uh, to this one. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to need to just do a bit of lane work. And that should be enough. Okay, so now these garbage trucks are going to go out and fix our city from getting that massive garbage problem. So that'll take a little while, but um, at least now we have garbage going in the city. Yeah. Oh man, how long has that been going on for? I bet one of you guys noticed pretty early on that this was happening and have been laughing at me now. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's get another pier, park pier going. Uh, I think right here might be nice, but I don't know if I would want it like sideways. Maybe if we place it down right here and then we move it like this, this could be nice, a bit different.
Looks cool. Okay, so now that... Let's just actually... Let's make sure that's in the park zone. Um, yeah, okay, it is. Um, okay, so now that we have all of that, let's see what the entertainment is. 420 is what we need to get to. So I'm going to remove this washroom. And... You know, I just don't... I was looking forward to getting these gazebos and stuff. But I guess perhaps we can get the plaza in here after all. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Because its hitbox was larger than I expected it to be. So let's just move this, line it up a bit better, and put it down to this height. Okay, and then we'll just use the smoothing tool to smooth it out. Uh, brush size, smooth, oh, whoa, too big. Let's turn the strength down as well. Okay. There we go, that works. Got a nice plaza in right there. And I don't think that's going to get us... Whoa. I don't think that's going to get us... Oh, look at that. It did. Wow. So the plazas were uh, a lot. Um, and then maybe let's just get one more pier in. And then we'll leave it uh, there for now. Um, I don't know if underneath the bridge is the best idea. Uh, sure. Let's put that right there. And... Oh, come on. There we go. Move it. I'm just going to place it right here and lower it into the ground a bit. Perfect. Okay. So with that, we added in a school. Um, we also added in a nice little park, which is going to level up to level three pretty quickly. So I'm really glad that people are actually using it. And it really fills out the space as well. And it looks like our garbage issue has mostly been, been, uh, been solved. Uh, now, I do have a cheat to, to kind of get around this, but um, if you want to see that cheat, let me know in the comment section down below, and we can uh, we can look at that together. <laughs> okay, so um, now we have a bit of residential demand. We're not going to get to Boomtown in today's episode, but what we can do is zone in along here. Just like we originally planned to do, but never got around to this episode. So we're just going to go right up to this right there. And then we're going to... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh, that was pretty quick. Let's look at the terrain lines. Yeah, I was wondering if we could get another road right here. But I don't think we can. It's a bit too steep. But we can definitely uh, get some buildings out over here. I think what we'll do is we'll just maybe get a straight line right here for this road. And then we'll make a bit of a grid line off of that. Now let's go a bit farther right here. Okay, and then from here, let's make it a bit of a smaller grid. How about just four? Okay. Same thing right here. Alrighty, and then we'll go right to there, connect in. Alright, and then if we can get a nice, pretty simple connection up right here. So let's drag it down like that. Perfect. It's a really nice slope we have for that. And I mean, this isn't the worst area, but I think what we'll do is just get a road connection in. Sorry, house that was literally just built. But we can just do that. That works. And then now we have a nice little area to expand into uh, in the coming episodes. And I don't know if we can get another road in right here. I mean, why not? So this was supposed to be four in length, this grid. So that'd be right here. just use a straight road. It's, it's fine. So 
So let's do that. And then connect in. Awesome. Okay, so let's just zone this in and then we'll end off the episode. So I'm just going to zone in right inside of our little small grid. Nice suburban housing. All right, and we get the chance to, before houses uh, fill in the space, we can always do with a bit of smoothing of land when you put zone residential, because in real life, developers would 100% do that anyways. So let's just grab that node and we'll throw it down to that height. And water, and then I think that's where we're gonna end today's episode. Oh, let's find where we ended our water. bring that down and then from here boom not perfect but uh, it works yeah okay so with that that's where we're going to end today's episode folks i hope you uh, like the, the episode where we uh, got sunset park or something similar to that so um let me know how you liked it and leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for the series and i'll catch you next time uh which will be on monday uh because as you know, the series is now moving to uh, weekdays, so no more weekend episodes, but uh, have a great day, everyone, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. A little uh, couple minutes later, uh, as I just left the simulation going, uh, we hit Boomtown, so uh, we ended up getting it in today's episode, so that's fantastic to see. Um, thank you very much for watching the episode, guys, and I'll catch you next time.